Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina Galassi. I'm the Cross-Cultural Adaptation Technician at ACS in Kaiserslautern. And today I want to give you a little intro into reflexive pronouns in the German language. In German we call them reflexive pronomen. So what can we say about reflexive pronouns? What are reflexive pronouns? Mainly they refer back to the subject, or you can also say subject and basically object are the same person. So when I say I see myself, then myself is the reflexive pronoun. I is the subject and I and myself are the same person. So I'm referring back to the subject, I. Sarah washes herself, herself again, that's Sarah. So herself, the reflexive pronoun, refers back to the subject Sarah. So just like in English, there are also reflexive pronouns in the German language. And you can use them in either accusative or in dative. And um, the best recommendation I can give you is watch the videos about accusative and dative or read up on it so you know what that means. But basically, uh, accusative means a um, direct object and dative an indirect object. So the example sentences, when you look at them, du ziehst dich an, you trust yourself in English. Here, the reflexive pronoun dich is an accusative one because you, do are the direct object. So it refers back to yourself. But when you say, du ziehst dir eine Jacke an, now I have another object here, eine Jacke. And eine Jacke is basically my direct object here. So, dir is dative, the indirect object. You're taking the jacket, that's your direct object, that you put on yourself. So, you have to distinguish in the German language between accusative and dative reflexive pronouns. In this case, dich and dir. They both re refer back to yourself, but one time it's accusative, one time it's dative. So I created a table so you can learn the reflexive pronouns in accusative and in dative. And when you look at that, you can see that only in the first and second person singular that's where they are different. Mich, mir, dich, dir. Both times in English as reflexive pronouns, myself and yourself. So reflexive pronouns can either refer back to the subject or it can also refer to each other, for example, between people. I could say in German, wir treffen uns. So we meet or we meet each other. I wouldn't really say we meet ourselves in English. And that's one thing I have to mention that you cannot always literally translate things from one language into the other. Oftentimes in the German language, you do use reflexive pronouns, but you don't say it like that in English. So for example, I could say in German, ich habe mir neue Schuhe gekauft. And in English, you don't have to say, I bought myself new shoes. You can say, I bought new shoes. So it doesn't have to be one-to-one -one all the time.